Let's take a look at equivalent ratios. Are these ratios equivalent? We have 3 fifths and 12 over 25. Okay, well one way to see if the ratios are equivalent is to see if you can multiply the numerator and denominator by the same thing to get from one to the other. So for example, if I compare 5 to 25, well I know 5 times 5 would give me 25, or 5 goes into 25 5 times. So if I also multiply the top by the same thing, then they would be equivalent. But that doesn't work because 3 times 5 would give me 15, not 12. So that's one way to say that these ratios are not equivalent. Another way you can check is you can cross multiply. If your ratios are equivalent, when you cross multiply on one side, it's going to be equal to or the same as what you get when you cross multiply on the other side. If they are not equal, when you cross multiply, you'll get two different numbers that are not equal, and then you'll know you can say no, the ratios are not equivalent or not in proportion. Okay, well 3 times 25, if I cross multiply, would give me 75. And I want to see, is that equal to what I get when I cross multiply 5 times 12? Well, 5 times 12 gives me 60. So 75 is not equal to 60. They're not the same number. So that means, no, my ratios are not equivalent. Are these ratios equivalent? 2 thirds and 8 over 15. Well, again, you can use either method. You can check and see if there's the same number that you can multiply by the numerator and denominator, or you can cross multiply. I like cross multiplying. Let's try this way. 2 times 15 would give me 30, and I want to see, is that equal to what I would get when I cross multiply on the other side? Well, 3 times 8 would give me 24. Since those things are not equal to each other, that tells me my ratios are not equivalent. Are these ratios equivalent? 4 fifths and 12 out of 20. Okay, well, if I cross multiply, 4 times 20 gives me 80. And if I cross multiply on the other side, 5 times 12 gives me 60. Well, 80 is not equal to 60, so no, my ratios are not equivalent. Are these ratios equivalent? 3 quarters and 15 out of 20. Okay, well, if I cross multiply, 3 times 20 gives me 60. And if I cross multiply on the other side, 4 times 15 also gives me 60. Notice this time they gave me the same answer. That means, yes, my ratios are equivalent. One third and 5 over 6. Okay, well, if I cross multiply, 1 times 6 gives me 6. And 3 times 5 gives me 15. Well, 6 is not equal to 15, so no, my ratios are not equivalent. Okay, this time we want to see if 4 fifths and 16 over 20 are equivalent. Well, let's multiply. 4 times 20 gives me 80. And if I cross multiply on the other side, 5 times 16 also gives me 80. So yes, they are equivalent. Now, if you wanted to check the other way, remember we said you could also see, is there a number we can multiply by for anyone who likes that way better? If I compared 5 and 20, I would say, okay, well, I multiplied 5 by 4 to get to 20, right? 5 times 4 gives me 20. So if they're equivalent, that means I must have done the same thing on the top. Well, 4 times 4 gives me 16. So that's another way to see that, yes, these are equivalent. 